Hello Activate. Here I am from my lovely living room, brought it inside today. Uh, today we're talking about posture and kind of some diaphragm function that goes along with posture. Uh, we're all sitting at home, we all have desk jobs to some degree, I mean even as physical therapists, performance specialists, we're doing some sort of work at the computer. Today I hijack my wife's lovely ergonomic chair. Uh, and the, what makes it an ergonomic chair is you see this lumbar support and we're familiar with this but that's the significance of some of these chairs more high dollar ergonomic chairs you're paying for uh, your own longevity in other words so <clears throat> the lumbar support provides the inward curvature to our lumbar spine uh, that's formerly known as lordosis now there ranges anywhere from 40 to 60 degrees of lordosis and that's considered the gold standard or the norm uh, but to each their own as far as what, what their body style is and what their structure is like. However, uh, we don't have to have perfect posture all day long, but we don't want to be in the same position either. Movement and motion is lotion, so we want to get out of these positions and do some postural corrective exercises. But for starts, let's just try to find that neutral, good neutral posture. Okay, so I'm, just, I'm slumped right now. All right, I've scooted back all the way in the chair. My butt's all the way back. My back, my back is to the seat back, okay? Now I'm slouched here. Now you can see as I slouch, my low back goes out that way. If I just draw that inward, while just gently bringing in my belly button to just subtly stabilize my low back, I now have more of an inward curvature of my low back a natural outward of my mid back and then again to an inward lordosis curvature of my cervical spine. Now if my ears can maintain alignment with my shoulder, that's good. I can get my shoulders back to a comfortable position. I don't have to be pinned back and I don't expect you to hold this position all day. Just kind of, I like to go loosey goosey into the motion and just kind of naturally find myself there. So I can find it in a relaxed state. I don't want to be tense because that just puts on more muscle tension. You have more of a fight or flight response rather than that parasympathetic activity. So I'm trying to be relaxed in holding that position. So I have my shoulders gently back, my ear lobes aligned with my lateral shoulder there, okay? And then the chin tuck that as many of you or some of you have gone to physical therapy, had any sort of neck pain or postural related problem, they've probably said something about the chin tuck. Well, the purpose of that is to really just engage the deep neck flexors. We're trying to turn off or use less of the superficial muscles that become tense and put our neck and our joints out of position with chronic tension. So when there's chronic tension or chronic bad posture, then we are stuck in a position and then other problems arise from that. So the idea of the chin tuck is as my ears are aligned with my shoulders when everything's positioned appropriately, that I can tuck my chin towards my neck. Now it's like a rod, Happy Gilmore, the guy with the nail going through the head, spinning on that axis, learning to hold that. What I often say is head against the headrest, say you're in a car and your head is against the headrest, you're taking your head against the headrest and sliding it up and down. You're not moving front to back, you're moving up and down just like that with that axis point basically going through your ears, all right? Now in that position, we can now practice some diaphragm breathing. I have asthma. I would go to an asthma allergy specialist every year, every six months, and I would basically be laughed at in the nice way. Uh, I would make jokes about it myself, but I couldn't get air out. Asthma is an obstructive disease and we cannot get air out. Yes, we have difficulty breathing, but most of it is because we cannot exhale and deflate our lungs adequately. Uh, so I could inhaling fine, but exhaling, I couldn't blow out the balloons. There'd be a meter, I'd be blowing into a meter, could not blow out the balloons. So I'm trying to inhale through my nose and exhale through my mouth. Okay, now this is a great time You take a break, you're stressed out during the day, you assess your posture like, hey, my posture could be a little bit better. Do the posture exercise combined with the breathing exercise and we got a little stress relief midday that we can go on about our day, all right? So just folks, seeing it from the side, I'm breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth, trying to make my exhale longer than my inhale and I'm focusing on expanding down here 
globally around my mid torso rather than my chest. Two to one ratio. Okay? Now, get it. I'm not the best at it, but we'll practice. So I'm going to do five breaths. Looking at you now. I went to Arizona State. I have trouble counting. I think this is five. All right, I'll quit yapping. I encourage you guys to do that throughout the day, anytime you're stressed or anytime you just want to practice that in general. The key to good posture is maintaining that or have, keeping that frequently because then we allow our diaphragm to function appropriately. It's able to descend and ascend appropriately. When we have bad posture, that diaphragm is no longer able to move appropriately. That's a big thing coming back to the Postural Restoration Institute. In some of their basic courses, that's what they're going over and that's the principles behind it. Uh, many athletes uh, and many patients, I'm sure, have come across PRI whether they've known it or not. Uh, I do practice some of that, uh, not solely, but I definitely do appreciate their concepts. If you guys have any questions, my wife right now is looking at the live feed of comments, calling her out right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to just add that in the DM. Uh, or any comments on this video after it's posted. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a good one.